It is a beautiful Friday, May, April 30th, I believe. I, I believe it's a, it's the end of Friday, or it's, it's the end of April, or May, I mean, it's the end of May. <laughs> Why don't I just look at the date before I start these videos? I'm always getting it wrong. <laughs> Uh, time time in the morning is 6.45 a.m. I've been awake for about 45 minutes, around 6. I, I woke up a little bit before 6 a.m. And I laid in bed, did my prayers, uh, just thought about things. I, I laid there not wanting to move because I hadn't woke up hiccuping, which I've been doing since Tuesday morning, Wednesday, and Thursday. <clears throat> So I started hiccuping on Monday afternoon. <clears throat> now, it's been an hour and I've not hiccuped, not a single time. So I kind of just laid there in bed, not wanting to move, not wanting to disrupt the, the feeling of, like I had the sensation I was about to hiccup because I was hiccuping nonstop throughout the entire day and night. It was insane. I've never had that happen to me. Uh, and in most cases, hiccups don't last very long and they certainly don't last more than a full day. Mine went all Monday in the evening, all Monday afternoon and evening, all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, all day yesterday. And it was even right till about 2.30 last night going to sleep. I was out of exhaustion finally able to sleep but uh here it is friday friday morning it's like the weatherman you have rainy all all week it's rainy then the weekend comes and suddenly it's a beautiful day everything's just wonderful and then comes monday it's going to start raining again <laughs> so anyways um, I feel like my throat is still sore. <clears throat> it's itchy and raspy, uh, to, to talk to you. It's itchy. I'm getting a sensation to cough, to swallow. It's still sore. So I'm, I may go to the store today and buy some lozenges, sore throat lozenges, just to, you know, help with the, this, the, the, soreness in my throat. Um, swallowing is still a bit of a, you know, uh, discomfort. Um, but all in all, I'm, I'm glad, I'm grateful, you know. Uh, thank you to my angel Gladys for your comment and concern. Uh, to answer your question, why I'm coughing, I don't know. I just started coughing on Monday uh, and it actually what I I, I I was recording it on video what happened was on Monday I went to Vancouver I like I'm on vacation right now from work for the next four weeks and um, so I went down to visit with our cameo star Joe and um, because I hadn't hung up Joe for a while. So uh, I went into Vancouver. We arranged to meet up at my old drinking restaurant where I would drink beers and eat food. Um, I did the video and it's actually on the video. Um, but I, I got a pint of beer. I had three pints of beer that day, but I had a pint of beer and I just started drinking it and I, I hiccuped and I said it on the video. Oh, I'm getting the hiccups. <clears throat> I don't know. That was the starting point on Monday afternoon. And then Monday, as I got home that later in the afternoon, back here in Mission, I was hiccuping more intensely. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and yesterday, really bad. Um, so Gladys, I don't know why, but 
I'm thinking, was it something to do with my um, drinking that beer? But still, hiccup shouldn't last more than a day, and certainly two days. So I don't know why. Um, did I go to the doctor? No, I had not. Um, I'm, I grew up most of my life lived by myself with those occasional times having a girlfriend. So most of my life's been lived alone. Uh, much of my life, not most, much of my life has been lived all by myself. And when I get sick, I'm by myself. I, so I've kind of learned or developed a, a, a mentality that, you know, I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to let it run its course. And, you know, if I really get sick, then I'll go to the doctor. But that's usually not at the start of being sick. That's usually giving my body enough time to um now as this video is playing i'm feeling there's a in my lower part of my body where that whatever that stomach muscle thingy is that makes the hiccups does the breathing that's starting to contract and i'm starting to like there's a burp like air or liquid down there I was doing that all week it's and it I want to burp and then it causes the hiccuping um, it's interesting to think that um, so yeah I I was intent to call my doctor today now, I'm not ruling out that it might come back. I have, I do have my mind has been just thinking I'm going to start hiccuping at any minute. Once it does, I can't stop it, right? <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go through this morning. I'm, I'm doing laundry. I'm going to make my breakfast. And uh, I did some video recording during the big rainstorm we had the other day i want to upload that to my laptop and work on that uh one of the things i'm looking to buy uh this summer is uh some new recording equipment so i've been looking at a couple couple all options like the i've i'm gonna this phone should be good for another year hard to say the contract that i got the phone through comes to its conclusion in december and they've been they've been true to form at the end of the contract these phones my past phones for the last three contracts right at the end of my my contract the phone stops working like it should they dial it down the Battery life goes to hell, you know, and I've been told by people, oh, well, you can't expect the battery to last forever. Well, no, but at least more than the two-year contract and not right at the end of the contract. I should be able to have it, you know, especially for a $1,400 phone, I should expect the battery should last more than two years. Anyways, um... <clears throat> So I'm looking at a new camera. I'm leaning on a Sony. I liked Sony. I had a Sony. You have more lens options than the Canon EOS 100. Uh, but I'm thinking of a the um, Action 360 Ace Pro. It's about five hundred dollars and. Uh, it's a comparable action camera to the GoPro. Um, a lot of good reviews so far. Price is perfect. Uh, the gimbal, not the gimbal, the gimbal um, Digi Osmo 
three, pocket three, which is the little one that here in Canada, looking at it brand new, it's over a thousand dollars. That's insane. I'm not making money on my YouTube yet. Maybe when I start making it an income flow month to month, I might buy an, a, spend a thousand dollars for a camera. Not before then. I'm going to keep using within my budget. $500 after the last time I bought a new the recording device, this uh, Google Pixel 7 Pro, two years ago. And uh, it still does the it still does the trick. Yes, I, I'm so you know I'm teetering on. Do I really want to get in a camera? Well, I'd like to plan something. I have the money to do it right now. I don't want to wait until this camera gets shut down by my service provider that I got the phone through. They're, they're notorious for it. It's a reality we are we need to address as global citizens. You know, do we want these corporations to be freely doing what they're doing to us to make us go buy a new one? It's insane. You pay $1,400, you should have use for it more than the contract terms. And then once the contract ends, they dial it back. So you then need to go or want to go buy a new one. That's insane. This thing keeps wanting to go bloop. You know, these, these are old man eyebrows, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'm feeling much better today. Um, thanks for the comments. To Gladys, thank you, my darling. Um, in a matter of, of two weeks, baby Thaddeus' birthday, first year. So excited uh, to see his party videos. I want you to upload, okay, to our channel. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You notice I, I will often wear the same shirt over multiple videos, multiple days, because I generally will wear a shirt uh, a few days, uh, you know. I'm not one of these one-time users. I, I, I wear it a few times. My body doesn't stink. I'm normally pretty clean. So it's not... If I was like wearing a shirt and going out and we're doing physical labor work, yeah, I would put it... I wear it for the day and put it in the laundry because I'm putting sweat on it and stuff. I don't do a lot of that. This shirt was full of sweat yesterday when I was doing the walk-in video. Okay. I'm doing laundry. This is going in there. I'm just waking, getting out of bed. I wanted to do this video because I'm not hiccuping, but I'm putting this shirt, and I threw this shirt on because I didn't want to get my video content uh, inappropriate because I show too much skin. It's, it's disgusting what social media does. Facebook is letting the insanity of what women are posting or what people are posting of women, sexualizing women. And for me to even say the word sexualize, the social media pages will consider it inappropriate. A man shows their sh shoulders without a shirt. It's inappropriate. And yet a woman could literally show her your naked body it's it's just crazy what's happening at, in, to us in this messed up world i must be feeling better because i'm starting to think in terms of global citizens we must fight against the, the systems we're just living through right now it's so corrupted it's so out of control and thank you Almighty God, that you've healed me yet again. I have no more hiccups. Amen. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from the evil one. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. And amen to you, friends. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. See you in my next video.